What's going on, guys? This chapter right here, oh boy. All right, first off, let me say that Kaneki's new partner, he seems like the kind of guy that will partner up with Kaneki. I don't know what it is about him. He just seems so sneaky. Something about his appearance and how he talks doesn't seem too trustworthy, all those smirks and sly remarks, but I love their dialogue. I like how he just kind of insults Kaneki almost every chapter and just gets away with it. Like in this chapter, he said, you're not a very good employee, are you? Like, you have to have balls to say something like that to someone like Kaneki, but you can tell that he's just playing. And I really like their work relationship. They really seem like opposites right now. But we got so much in this one chapter. We learned about the new cues, about what Yidi and Psycho and Musuki are up to. Musuki's a fucking badass now. I love that scene where he was tossing the knives back and forth with the other, other person without even taking out the Kagane. They were taking out ghouls. That was epic. Yidi is doing well for himself. He's getting praise and getting in good with the big boss cycles pretty good too and also the new cues the one i'm most interested in for some reason is aura i don't know why i don't know if it's the hair covering the eyes kind of showing that he's shy or if it was to mention that he really didn't have any notable like badass traits about him he's just like okay and i always like seeing characters like that go from okay to badass like getting their you know, power out of the mud, like struggling t to become better. And just something about his mystery, like he looks like a mysterious character. I expect to see some awesome things from Aura. And my next favorite has to be, I forgot what her name is. The girl that hit the split that's from, uh, I forgot where she's from. But anyway, that beautiful ass shot of hers, I think it was mentioned that she's like really good at hand-to-hand -hand combat, like no one can touch her. So combining like martial arts and a Kagine, is bound to be epic. I'm pretty sure we're going to see some amazing things from her. And for some reason, the theme of the number 19 in this chapter is just crazy. Like, Kaneki is thinking about all the cues being 19 at one point. I believe Kaneki was uh, 18 or 19 when he got tortured back in part one by Yamori. And at the end, he what, crossed out the number 19 on the calendar or it was the 19th or whatever month that was. I don't know what's going on with the number 19, but it's present in this chapter a lot. So tell me what you guys think about that because I sure can't think of anything. But the highlight of this chapter had to be when Takatsuki was giving this empowering ass speech to all the ghouls of Agiti Tree saying that she's the one-eyed owl. You know, Agiti Tree is for ghouls and trying to make a better place for ghouls, etc., etc. And she is not the one-eyed king. I was like, what? She is the one-eyed owl, but not the one-eyed king. According to her, the one-eyed king is a badass mofo that lived about a hundred years ago. And it took cooperation from humans and ghouls to take this mofo down. So is this ghoul still alive somehow? Or is it reincarnated into someone else? Because how the chapter ended it's kind of hinted that she hinted that the one-eyed king is Kaneki. So tell me, what do you guys think? Do you think the one-eyed king is like some mysterious ass rogue half ghoul somewhere in the world that's just being badass by himself somewhere? Or do you think that one-eyed king has been reincarnated into Kaneki? It's either one or the other. And if it is Kaneki, I really, really hope this series does not take the route that Kaneki does not like humans at some point. He doesn't like ghouls and humanity and ghoul have to team up to defeat him. Thus, like reuniting or bringing together ghouls and humans to take out Kaneki and then they all live happily ever after or some crap. I really hope Kaneki isn't going to be the bridge to join them. I mean, I know he's supposed to because it was said earlier in the series that he's the only one that can kind of, you know, lead ghouls to being friendly with humans and vice versa because he is both technically, but I really hope that the series doesn't make him do it like that. Like, I hope they don't find him a common enemy and kill him and then they are like all hunky-dory and okay. That would suck, man. Kaneki's life would have been so fucked up if that's the end. I think about it. It was said that Kaneki is probably going to be the voice of ghoul and human, but it wasn't said how, so he very well may be the common enemy of both. Like, he may go completely insane, just destroying everything and everyone. And Agiti Tree and the CCG may have to team up to defeat and kill Kaneki. I can see the end of this series having such a dark-ass ending like that. But, I mean, hell, he would have 
reunited or united whatever humans and ghouls together that would be so fucked up i really hope that doesn't happen but also that's a pretty cool twist and how takatsuki slash eto whatever you want to call her now said that dr kano was the one that came up with this twisted bird cage you know analogy or whatever and she's adopted that kind of makes me think that dr kano like kind of twisted her mind because she's just like Kaneki or she was like she could have either walked down the good path or walked down the you know evil path and I think she chose the evil path so I think she is a very very good example of what Kaneki could have been after he first turned into a ghoul after he first turned white haired or whatever this is what Kaneki could have been he could have been just like her if he had have let all this stress of you know being half ghoul and the world being so fucked up like no place for him to belong if he had to let all of that get to him he could have been just like Takatsuki and I think she made the wrong choice I think Dr. Kano kind of helped her you know go down the bad path so i think ultimately of course she's going to end up dying at the end but that speech though it is about to go down the ccg versus a giddy tree which is supposedly going to be the final battle so we may actually even be in the last arc of tokyo ghoul re which is crazy it seems like it's gone by so fast but I cannot wait to see what's going to happen. But what do you guys think Kaneki's role in this war is going to be? Do you think he's going to be the bridge to join humans and ghouls together in a way where he'll have to be taken out by both? Because, come on, let's get real. Kaneki deserves a happy ending. He has not really had happiness in his life at all. And when he did, it only lasted for like a day, maybe a few weeks. He has been through hell, man. I feel so, so sorry for Kaneki. So who do you guys think the one-eyed king truly is do you think this ghoul is still alive after this a hundred plus years or do you think he's being reincarnated into kaneki because let's get real if he's dead and the one-eyed king is around it's kaneki it has to but tell me what you guys think what do you think is going to happen when kaneki confronts Takatsuki again what's going on with Toka I really want to see her help out in some way let's get some more part one people in there like H Hinami I mean I know Hinami is in captivity right now but still uh Nishio I want to know what's going on with Yoshimura there's so many characters that's missing from this final war and also what the hell happened to Rize the last time we saw her fucking Yomo had her captive like chained up and shit so I mean is she still around what's going on with that and also how could I forget to mention at the end Adima says V is calling for Ken Kaneki who the hell is V and does this mean that Adima knows that Sasuke is no longer Sasuke that he knows he's Ken Kaneki he's gone back to Ken so this opens up so many more opportunities. If so, is he going to allow Ken to still pretend that he's Sasuke? Does he? I mean, I, what's, I don't know what the fuck's going on with this ending, man. I'm so hyped to see what's going to happen next chapter. I don't know how I forgot to mention this before, but there you go. Ken Kaneki has been found out, maybe. And if he does get found out, I'm pretty sure it's going to be by Arima. So what do you think is going to happen next? This has been JB Chiha. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out.